When you think of games, you almost forget about the classic game shows that took place in the 90s due to the growing obscurity of them today. But let's take a minute to look back at those game shows that made television so fun to watch as a family. Hey everyone, welcome to 90s Nostalgia. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 game shows of the 90s. So keep your hand on the buzzer and get ready for some fun. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to 90s Nostalgia, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our countdowns regarding everything 90s. That being said, let's get started. Number 10, Shop Till You Drop. Ever wondered how well couples work together when it comes to playing games? Well, for the most part, it's entertaining regardless of who wins or loses. Seeing couples having to work together can be hilarious under the right situations. Whether it's having them match answers based on their relationship, or having them put on layers of shorts to name a price on something. Eventually, one of them will drop. It's all good fun throughout the entire experience. Number 9. Figure it out. A Nick-based game show where young Nick stars compete against each other to figure out what the words are in the blank slots. One person has the answer to the blanks, and if no one figures it out, the person then gets to keep the grand prize. Very simple and a short burst compared to most other game shows. Did you invent... invented... pig... bacon... turkey... Number 8. Press your luck. Can you press the button at the right time to land on your prize? Or will you hit the whammy and lose it all? Players have to get a question right for spins. If a player gets the question right first, they earn three spins. If they get the question right after, they only earn one spin. And if they get it wrong, they don't earn any spins. Each spin allows the players to win big or potentially lose their funds. After each spin is over, the player is given a chance to keep what they have or keep spinning. What are you gonna do, Menard? Well, Peter, I gotta press my luck. Whoever earns the most money gets to play in the last round. Number seven. Who wants to be a millionaire? While I'm sure all of us want to raise our hand as just about everyone wants to be a millionaire, it's not as easy as getting lucky. In this game, players need to have a lot of trivia knowledge and guess correctly out of four answer choices in order to earn their way up to a million dollars. With all of their earnings being on the line as every wrong move could be their last. In moments like these, players are allowed to use a lifeline to receive help for an answer. Very rarely has anyone ever won a million dollars. But then there's rare occasions like this where someone wins without needing any help from a lifeline. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna win the million dollars. Number 6. Match Game 90. This show is filled with laughter and a community that is well-rounded and gets along super well. Most of the contestants are well-known people, so the crowd responds to them a bit differently than they would in any other game show, considering they aren't random people taking part in the show. One of two random players fills in the blank for a random phrase, and one of the celebrity players has to reveal what they filled in the blank. If at least one of them matches the word, the player wins that round. Number 5. Double Dare. Anyone has a shot at winning as long as they're quick enough and sometimes even risky enough. In Double Deer, two contestants are put against each other as clues are given to them until one of them can guess the right answer. The person who guesses wrong is shut out, not being able to hear anything that's going on until it's opened again. If the winning player decides to dare, then the losing player has a chance to win double the money or allow the winner to earn it for themselves. If they get it wrong and the winner decides to double dare, then the doubled amount is then doubled again and the loser must guess it right to earn that amount or else the winner takes it all. It might sound a tiny bit complicated at first, but you'll start to get the hang of it after a while. Number 4. Wheel of Fortune if you've ever filled a crossword puzzle, you'll get the hang of this game fairly quickly, as it requires solving word puzzles in the same fashion as Hangman, with the last person to solve the full phrase being the winner of that round. Whatever you land on after spinning the wheel determines your earnings or losses at the end of the round. It's as straightforward as it gets, but still remains an iconic game show through and through. I have nothing more to say. Yeah, that's <laughs> Number 3. Family Feud Things can get super hilarious and outrageous when coming up with random responses. This game puts two families against each other, guessing the most popular responses to short and open-ended survey questions. Some of these are straightforward, while others are a perfect recipe for messy yet hilarious responses. The show is so unpredictable, making it very fun to watch regardless of who wins or loses. It's one of those rare instances where the show itself is more worthwhile than the actual prizes. Number 2. Jeopardy one of the most well-known game shows of all time. Just about anyone and their grandparents have gathered in their living room and gave their best attempt at getting every question right in Jeopardy. 
Instead of figuring out answers to each question, players must guess the correct question to each answer depending on which category they select, with the difficulty fluctuating between anywhere from $100 to $500. The first person to hit the buzzer and get the question right earns all the money that comes with the question. The player then decides the next category and amount, then rinse and repeat. Number 1. The price is right. In this show, contestants have to guess the accurate price of their potential prizes. Up until they reach the point of having to guess the total amount as close to the accurate price as possible. The player with the closest guess to the actual price of it all wins all the prizes. It's a fun way to test your knowledge on the value of things. If it's easy for you to guess the price of something based on its appearance, you might have a solid chance at winning, even if you're off by a few dollars. That's the thing about this game too, just about anyone has a chance to win, and all it takes is guessing as well as a bit of shopping experience. Wow, those look really fun to play, but what do you think? Did you enjoy our list? Which game shows did you enjoy watching? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to 90s Nostalgia so you can keep up with our wide array of countdowns regarding everything 90s. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time.